Hey everyone, we are back playing as the Bagass Wizard deck. We're up against Custom Biotics today, which should be intriguing. Uh, just to point out, we are playing in the casual lobby. Um, it's a bit late, so a bit quieter in the competitive side of things. Uh, so we're going to see how we can get on with this. Custom Biotics should be interesting. I have very little experience playing against it, I'll be honest. Um, but this is a decent opening hand, so we have plenty of money. We have this to help us not die. Uh, Bagat should put pressure on early. And Peddler will hopefully find us the Desperado. So, Custom Biotics. 45 cards, 22 influence. But they can't use Jinteki cards. So, we don't have to worry about certain traps. But we do have to worry about the likes of Mid-Seasons, Scorch, and other shenanigans like that. Now they are leaving their hand open. So let's take a peek. Hopefully we can get Desperado here. That would be kind of the dream start. Data sack was okay. Katie Jones, Desperado. Excellent. So let's run HQ and make it worth our while. Jackson. Ugh, I don't really want to trash it. It's expensive, so I think we leave it for the moment. And we're going to see tech start up. Okay. So, are they going to look for something interesting? Pad. Okay. That's fairly standard. And now the fun begins, it seems. So, I have no idea what to expect here. Are they trying to sneak something out? Thankfully with uh, Desperado we can afford to check things. Draw up. I'm not entirely sure why or what I'm uh, drawing up against. Encryption, okay. So we're going to be paying a little bit more to trash anything we want to. Oh dear, well, we have to get rid of it. Because it is such a pain to deal with. Uh, we can dirty laundry HQ again, trash some cards. Oh. And I think we need to run and trash this before uh, it spirals out of control. Unfortunately, we know they have Jackson in hand, so check our house first. See what kind of stuff we're dealing with. So I managed to hit a Mumba Temple, and we have two Mumba City Halls in the bin already. So we need to get rid of the third one and then try and keep Jackson's down as much as possible. And diversified already. So Parasite not going to do us a whole lot of good just yet. Desperado thankfully is going to nullify the cost of that a little bit. We'll keep running and crashing things as much as possible. Hopefully this is Jackson. And the other one is the Mumbai City Hall. No. Oh, wait. I should be taking... Wow. Spot the guy who's not used to playing as a wizard. Trashing everything the hard way. Too used to play noise, how many things have I trashed and cost myself lots of money? Uh, so, we trashed the early Mumba City Hall, we trashed the encrypted protocol, and that Mumba City Hall, but at least we got one of the things. 
So, not a dream start. Obviously, brain went into autopilot mode once we saw Mamba City Hall's going down. And they left two of them. So that's okay by us. And still leaving HQ wide open. Liberated is good. I think we just keep running and trashing things while uh, while it's wide open. Mid-season, okay, well that tells us all we need to know really. So there's a good chance there's a consulting visit, uh, just in case they didn't have the mid-seasons. But they do, so we know what we have to do. And now that the surprise has been ruined, they are going to ice up a little bit. So we can get some money stuff going. We have mid-season. We haven't seen Scorch yet, but it is most likely. If you're not going to be playing Jinteki stuff, Chances are you're going to go for the other kill side of things. And Jeeves is out. So we have to deal with that pretty swiftly as well. Because otherwise you run into Sea Source Triple Scorch, for example, and other shenanigans like that. Mid Seasons Triple Scorch. You get the idea. So we'll try and keep ourselves as safe as possible from that threat. <laughs> and we are wizard. We really need to pay attention to that. I've said it a few times on the channel, don't play Netrunner late. Apparently I should listen to my own advice. Then again, you know, we gotta hit this daily grind, gotta get the videos out. One way or the other, apparently. So next turn, we should deal with the old pad campaign. And we're slowly starting to draw into breakers. So we can get our Mimic down, and get Yogg down. And we have Corroder somewhere in here though it has been slower to show up for us. Telecast is pretty good. Uh, we can check server 8. Project for two is alright. So mid-seasons is quite possible. So if we run and trash this, we can go up 20 credits by clicking for a credit. No, we can stay at 19. Otherwise we go up to 21, they go up to 18, so I think we just credit credit. And see what they have. Okay, not bad. We have survived, at least. And we still have the credit lead. So let's uh, run server 9. Jackson is gone again. That is perfect. So we'll run the pad and we'll put down another daily cast. So the great thing is having this deck with uh, Desperado keeps you a little bit safer. And there are plenty of money making assets to, or money making resources to go around as well, which I really, really like. So hopefully avoid getting uh, the sea source kind of thing. Jackson's gone from the game. 
we need to start pressuring again. But the thing is, without Jinteki, you don't really fear these uh, unadvanced things. Uh, like, sure, it could be... I don't know, what even could it be as a trap? Nothing, really. Another data cast. Okay, well, we're made of money. Uh, let's run this in case it's another Jackson. It would be great to get all three of them out early. Museum of History. Yep, that is going. So, uh, Wizard is doing wonders for us at the moment. David. Okay, we need to keep our board state ticking over, you know, keep drawing cards. And keep on top of the assets as well. So we do have the breakers to drop at any moment. And uh, we should take a peek at what kind of ice we're dealing with soon as well. Pretty sure they're going to be flooded very soon. So now, uh, this could easily be a score. So I think we put down David and Mimic. That's what we're most afraid of, I think. Because it could be Turing. Or <laughs> Mother Goddess. All right, that'll. That'll do it. Uh, let's run HQ to force a res. And next silver. Okay, so we can't deal with that. But we've made this a barrier as well. So now we do need our corroder. Thankfully we play parasites. Interesting. Draw for Crowder? Nope. Crowder? Nope. Parasite that. And we'll run Server 12 to make sure that it can't be a safe beta test if that's what they're going for. Okay, it wasn't. Just a distraction. And they score Hades Fragment. Okay, so Bagat is not going to do a huge amount for us, unfortunately. But uh, for the moment, I can do a little bit of work. So let's run HQ, force another trash, and then check out. Well, that works as well. And we're well in the clear of mid seasons. So let's see what kind of goodies we've gotten. And sure enough, yeah, that is game. Interesting. So yeah, Big Ash did work for us there. Um, Hades Fragment could have caused issues in the long run. But uh, yeah, that was interesting. Um, interesting deck out of the Biotics. You don't see it an awful lot. But yeah, if we had let things get ahead of us, um, they had the annoying cards in Mumba City Hall, Museum of History, and Encryption Protocol just to back it up. But Wizard and Desperado, it kind of makes light work of it. Wizard, once you actually realise that you're playing Wizard, is uh, quite the card. So, sorry about the, uh, the, the lack of thinking for a while there, but I hope you enjoyed, and I will uh, be back soon with another game.